After 20 years of waiting, the pain management landscape finally has a new option. Meet Jernavix, the first-in-class non-opioid that selectively inhibits sodium channel. Ed Rubin, MD here, pain specialist. I am not a paid speaker for any of these medications. This is for educational purposes only. If you like to hear about the latest in pain management, please like, follow, and subscribe. As always, consult with your physician about your particular medications. So, Jernavix is the first new class of pain medications that's come down the pipeline in the last 20 years. And it's specifically designed for adults suffering from moderate to severe acute pain. How does it work? Jernavix selectively targets sodium channels, which are the pain highways in your peripheral nervous system. And it blocks the pain signals before they even reach your brain. It's a non-opioid, so you can manage serious pain without addiction concerns. Who should not be taking this medication? Well, if you're taking strong CYP3A inhibitors, like some antibiotics, antifungals, so um, something that can happen with taking a lot of uh, grapefruit juice, you should avoid this medication. Also, if you have severe liver or kidney disease, this isn't for you. Side effects. Most common side effects are itching, muscle spasms, elevated CPK levels, which could be a sign of muscle damage, and occasionally rash, which is typically mild in management. On the pro side, this is a non-opioid. It's an oral formulation. It's twice a day, so pretty easy to manage. It only comes in one strength, so no titration issues. Dosing does not vary by age. On the con side, it's only studied for acute pain, not chronic pain. No long-term data may not be well covered by insurance for a couple years. No data on pregnancy risks may reversibly affect fertility. In my practice, I just started using it as an extra layer that I mix with other medications like anti-inflammatories and nerve stabilizers so that we can use lower doses of each medication. Mixed reviews from patients so far. We'll share more in the future.